Welcome back to my channel, it's Britt here, and I'm going to do a video today to show you what it looks like when you roll your leather. So if you are interested to see what rolled leather looks like, please keep watching. Okay, so the three notebooks of leather I'm going to use are these. I have a B6 Odyssey, this is from the Chic Sparrow, and it has been distressed. As for the color, I don't know if it's honey. I'm not 100% sure what color this is. The next one is the Caribou, and this is the B6 Slim. It is a dark chocolate, beautiful color. And um, this is a Traveler's Notebook. And then last but not least is one of my favorites, the Roadrunner from Rowena as well. And this is a B6 Slim. Uh, folio. So these are the three leathers I have decided to roll for you guys today so you could see the beautiful characteristics and color variations you'll uh, get when you roll your leather. So let's start off with the caribou first. Now when you roll your leather, um, I think some sellers say it's not good to roll your leather because you are breaking your leather but a lot of people do it because they like the way it looks. I know a lot of people roll the leather because it softens the leather so if you have um, kind of a stiff leather rolling it can soften the leather as well. Um, but in this case this is a nice thin piece of leather. It is pretty, it's structured but a little bit floppy um, so I don't have a problem with it not molding to my inserts, but I do want to see the texture when you roll it. So you can see in the middle, I've had this for I think a little bit over a year now and I haven't even rolled it. All these marks are just like little scratches from throwing it around in my bag, carrying it with me around the house. So to roll the leather, I'm going to start off in a corner. I'm going to start off in this top corner. And I'm literally going to roll it. So you can see that variation in the leather. Okay, so this is what I have, and you may hear my son in the background, so excuse that, but isn't this gorgeous? You see all that texture in the leather? Now this is a pull-up leather, so you kind of can rub out some of those lines, and it is a little bit crinkled, but that will flatten out in time. And yeah, I like it. Okay, moving on. Now moving on to my Chic Sparrow. I'm going to take out the notebook. Now this notebook is pretty stiff, but it still has some flexibility. It's, I would say the Caribou is not as stiff as this leather. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to, it's kind of been rolled a little tiny bit, there's a little bit of lines, but let's see what it looks like if I roll it again. Okay, look at that. You see those lines? Just beautiful. And it has definitely softened it up. It's still kind of, you can hear it, but I don't think it was as loud this time around. And then you can see some of those lines come through. I think it's beautiful. All right, so that was the Odyssey leather. Now, last but not least, is the Roadrunner leather from Marina, and this is the folio, so 
Let me take out my notebooks. Okay. Ooh, I'm a little nervous on this one because I love this notebook. And I don't know. Okay. Let's start. <laughs> I kind of like it like that. I don't want to roll the middle right here. It's, you see the diamond shape in the middle? And I really like that. Okay. I'm excited. So if I fold it in half, this is what it looks like. So, for any of you who are wondering what rolling leather is, well, it's adding texture and a little bit more character to your leather and also softening the leather. Make sure you take care of it by oiling it every so often so that your pieces will last you pretty much a lifetime. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, catch you guys in the next one. Bye. And it actually, I mean, it has softened the leather a lot. I don't even know why it's taking me this long to do it. It looks like a completely different notebook in my opinion. It's kind of hard to catch it in this light.